Welcome to another of our Confidence Builder vlogs. Uh, I think we're now on to number six. Um, how did we start? We started by um, quilting either side of the seam lines horizontally and vertically. Then we went on to the cross hatch. We've done the cross hatch combined with um, sewing either side of the seam lines and we've done a small cross hatch. Then we did the quilt in the ditch. So this is just another variation of um, a quilting method we can use, especially if we're using squares, because we can use our seams here as a guide. So what we're going to do for this one, we're going to use the center and we're going to um, quilt away from the centre and echo those quilting lines. Top left corner and I'm going to mark to the centre. I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to mark from the centre again to this corner. And I'm going to do exactly the same for this way, going from the corner to the centre. And the corner to the centre again, here. Okay, so once you've drawn your lines diagonally, you'll see we've got four different quadrants there with the um, a triangle space. And what we're going to do is mark out our quilt just like I've done here. Starting from the centre and we're going three quarters of an inch either side of from each other. So I've marked, going one way and mark the other and I'm going to show you how to do that here. So I'm going to do this side first, there's my line, make sure I've got my ruler the right way. This is my line that I'm going to be coming towards. I lay my three quarter of an inch line along there and I'm dra drawing up to the centre seam. Do that again. And again. And I'm going to keep going until I've run out of space on this side. There we go, and now I'm coming back to this side. Turn my rule around, so again I'm laying the three quarters of an inch line across on top of the line already there. And again, just drawing on the other side to mirror what we've already done. So all the marking out is being done before I put the pins in, because the pins get in the way. I will pin it before I go and stitch. There we go. And that's that side done. You repeat it for these remaining two sides. So once it's been marked, You can add some pins for greater security just to make sure that it's not shifting around. With something like this I just tend to put a pin in each block and then I take them out as I'm stitching.
So for straight line quilting, you need your machine set up with a walking foot. This helps the fabric on the top and the bottom to flow through the machine together. And it helps prevent all those wrinkles that you can get if you don't use one. One more pin to go in. And let's go to the machine. So the machine's set up and I've got my walking foot on. So what I'm going to do first, just to keep everything in position, I'm going to do my centre cross line. I take this pin out so you don't want to be going over your pins. I've extended my stitch length to three. And I'm just going to follow my guidelines and I'm going to stitch these lines going diagonally from corner to corner. It's just going to fix everything in place. So I keep my hands flat on the just let the machine do its work. Taking out the pins as I go. So now I can come across and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other diagonal. You want to find a speed that you and your machine are happy with. Don't need to rush. If you need to make a slight variation on your direction, then do so. So that gives us now, easily gives us our markings for our triangles. So we're going to work one side at a time, following the guidelines that you've drawn, you're going to go until you reach this seam here. There we go, right on the seam. Make sure your needle is down. My machine, can, I can set it so that at the end of stitching it either go stay in the fabric or come up. So if you can do that, make sure that it's down. Otherwise, do a turn of your wheel on the side of your machine until the needle's down, pivot, and you're coming to do the other side. There we go. And then you're just going to keep doing that. until you've filled in each of the quarters. So if you have any questions, do let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can um, with some more help.
so these are just some fun sampler squares to do just to build up your confidence so that when it comes to doing a bigger quilt it won't seem as daunting and it also just gives some different ideas of how you can even with just a simple squared quilt add interest in with straight line quilting So you're just going to keep on doing that, fill this side in and then you work your way round until all of your sections are filled in. And we come into the end of it now, for my last one. Just remember that when you are stitching and you come to the centre mark, You've got your needle down, you're going to pivot. Make sure that you put your presser foot down. It's so easy to forget. And you end up with a mess on the back of your quilting. As always, remember. drop it. But if you've got a knee lift on your machine then it works out easier because you don't have to lift it all the way up and it will automatically come back down again. One more to do. There we have it. Okay, so there we have it. We've got our mark going in and you see it on the back and it forms this sort of cross in the centre with our marks. So that's our sixth block I do believe so come back um, next time with another block to add to our sampler series. Um, look forward to sharing that with you very soon. <laughs>